Hello, and, and this is just another video in my series. This one's just going to talk about the new Google Google Analytics dashboard that you'll see. Um, now, uh, when you log into your Google Analytics, uh, you all should have a good a Google Analytics account. Um, you'll need to log in with your Google password, um, your Google account password to view it. If you've got more than one website, you'll have to look through the admin and, uh, and, and select the site. You can select all the different sites up here. Okay, so just go through it. It's good. This is a lot more of a visual type tool uh, now with the new dashboard that Google's released. Probably dumbing it down a little bit uh, for, for the everyday user, which is probably a smart thing from Google to do. So anyway, it's basically giving you a snapshot of the behavior of your website over the past 14 you can you can get you can do it from daily to 90 days or you can create your own preset ranges uh, of dates uh, of time so this basically this first panel tells you how many users you've had in the last 28 days and you could you can up, up it to 90 um, how many sessions so that's how many different sessions from those users the bounce rate. Bounce rate is, um, it depends on what sort of site you have, but bounce rates are usually uh, one page views or less. Uh, sorry, one page views um, and that's it. So that's how many people go to your site and then just look over the, the front page without going further. And it's usually fairly high. A, a good website is, I mean, it, it, this is not to say that this is a good thing, but most websites, even the best of them, are at 40 to 50 percent. It depends what industry you're in, and it also depends what you display on your homepage. I mean, if you display all your updates on your homepage, then maybe there's not a reason for people to delve, dive deeper from, on most occasions. And what's the average duration? 42 seconds. You know, that's not very long. But anyway, that will change if I changed it to seven, seven days to 28 days. 90 days it's all it all changes now this is the time of day now in your google analytics in your admin section you you've, you've got to make sure that you've got the right time zone set but the, and then then this will be valid data so this shows when most people view the website now this website's in australia um so this will be recorded for sydney time so you'll see that it gets uh it gets darker in the uh evenings and the afternoon and you know by the time everyone gets to work, it's usually a little bit quieter. Okay. And then it tells you what active users you've got on the site right at that time. Here is um, the sources, the traffic, organic referral, social media, other. Um, you can also, uh, your acquisition reports, you can also dive deeper into those and learn more. And there's plenty of videos on YouTube. You know, if you wanted to get more information on acquisitions, or audience overview is how to build the audience overview in Google Analytics would be a thing you'd search in, in YouTube and then you would then you would change the, the, the dates for that you want to get results in YouTube to the last year so you want to get the latest version of, of analytics and that's how you search for everything online through YouTube or through through Google search I always, if I'm searching for something in particular or information on something, I always go into the tools that tells me more information. Here, anytime, past year, the same as on Google, um, on Google, uh, um, on, on YouTube as well as Google search. I always do that. It's just a habit you get into and, and it makes a big difference because who wants to get information that's old with information changing? Uh, so rapidly and then you get to your referrals you know it depends what industry you're in and where, where you get most of your traffic from and then from the country I mean obviously it's from Australia she's going to get most of her viewership from Australia but I know for as an example she gets clients from all over the world um, and active users, how that's trending over a period of time. And, and you can look into the active user report. I'm not going to go deep right into it on how to build goals and values and all that sort of stuff and conversions. Um, that's something you can search for online and you can test and then see how that goes. And then this tells you here, it tells you, okay, it's always the week is always 100%. And it tells you how many people return. 
how many people are returning from those, and then by the devices. As you can see today, you know, three or four years ago, mobile was 20 to 30%. Now it's 50%. And that's why all of our websites work on mobile phones as well. And tablets are still fairly low. And then it gives you your most popular pages over that period of time. You can also create pages report. You can also uh, customise your dashboard on, on what other things you'd like to see on there. And there's also some, also some pre-built dashboards. So it's all about recognising and understanding uh, your user behaviour. And then you use this in concert with the Google Search Console, which gives you some deeper understanding of, of where you're appearing in search results, what keywords, all that sort of stuff. So there, I thought I'd just share a little bit of an overview of the, of the new Google Analytics Home dashboard uh, that's available now for all users. Thank you and have a good day.